Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is yoga for PMS, menstrual cramps, PMS pain, period pain. I have a couple of shorter PMS videos, so this one will be a little bit longer. We'll be holding poses for a little bit longer, and hopefully it can help provide you some relief from your cramps or from your PMS or from your period pain. So let's begin in an easy seated position, hands resting on the knees, if you need to bring a cushion or a pillow underneath the hips, you can. And you can also grab a pillow to use as a prop throughout the practice just to help you feel more comfortable. So make sure you're sitting nice and tall. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more inhale through the nose. In, exhale out the mouth. And return to your natural breath. Letting go of any control you have over the breath. Good. Our next inhale. We'll begin to float our body up to a table position on hands and knees. And we'll work into some Marjariasana and Bidalasana or Cat Cow. So rotate the eyes of the elbows forward. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. If at any time these poses start to feel uncomfortable for you, it's okay to come out of the pose. So let's begin by flipping our tailbone upward, lifting our chin up, arching our spine. Inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin down to the chest, round the spine. And we'll move in and out of these two positions with our breath. At our own pace. We'll do a few more rounds of cat cow. A couple more times. Bring your spine back to neutral. Big toes come together. Bring your knees out as wide as you can. And we're gonna come back to a wide knee child's pose or balasana. So start to float your hips back towards your heels. Extend those arms out in front. And we'll just settle down into our balasana. If it's difficult to reach your hips all the way back to your heels, grab that pillow and put it underneath your hips. You can also bring the pillow underneath your belly and hold on to the pillow.
Just let your body melt and settle down as you breathe. Let's do one more full cycle of breath. And start to float your body forward. Coming back to a table position. From here, we'll begin to slide our right knee in between our hands, extending our left leg back, coming to a pigeon pose. You can bring the pillow underneath the hips, or you can come to upside down pigeon or figure four. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower down to sleeping pigeon. Trying to stay up on top of the hips without rolling onto the side of the hip. Good, take one more breath. Let's come into pigeon on the other side. So come up on the hands, slide onto the right knee, swing the left knee around. Coming back up to table, slide the left knee up in between the hands, extend the right leg back. You can stay here. You can bring a pillow underneath the hips if you like, or you can lower down to your sleeping pigeon. One more breath. And release. Now swing both legs around in front. Making sure you're on the sit bones. 
Sweep the arms up with an inhale. Exhale, lead with the chest. Coming down to a seated forward bend. You can let those hands fall as far as they can. Just melt down into your seated forward bend. Hopefully getting a stretch in that back. The lower back here. Couple more breaths in your seated forward bend. Inhale. Exhale, roll back up to a seated position. We're gonna bring our legs out wide. So bring your legs out wide. You can kind of scoot your hips forward. Point the toes back towards the face. Let's take an inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, we'll bend straight forward, letting our hands come down in the center between our legs. And maybe walking them forward. You can let the forearms rest down if that feels okay. Some people may be able to come down lower, or some people may be up higher. Couple more breaths. Uh, inhale. Exhale, walk the body back to a neutral position again. We're going to bend at the right knee and bring the right foot on the inside of the left thigh. Sweep the arms up and square your chest with the left leg. Inhale. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Maybe you can get your forehead down towards your knee. But if not, it's perfectly fine to just go as far as you can. Take a couple more breaths. Good. 
Inhale. Exhale, come back up to a neutral spine. Extend that right leg back out and bend into the left knee. Bottom of the left foot rests on the inside of the right thigh. We'll sweep the arms up. Inhale, square your chest with the right leg. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Couple more breaths on this side. Inhale. Exhale, come back up to a neutral spine. We're going to extend those legs back out in front again. And we'll get ready for a twist here. So bend into your right knee. Step it over your left leg. And we'll extend this left arm up to the sky and start to twist towards our right knee, bringing the elbow on the outside of the knee. Let the right fingertips face the wall behind you and you'll twist towards the back of the room. Now you can stay just like this if you're comfortable or feel free to bend that bottom leg as well, if that feels okay. Couple more breaths. Take an inhale. Exhale, float your body back to center. Extend those legs back out in front. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Bending at the left knee, step it over the right. Right arm extends up towards the sky. Twist towards the right knee. Elbow on the outside of knee, left fingertips face the back wall. Let your gaze follow. Staying just like this, or you can bend that bottom leg as well. Couple more breaths. Take an inhale. 
Exhale, float your body back to center. Extend those legs back out in front. Then we'll bend both knees, bringing the feet flat on the ground. Scoot the hips close to the heels. Make your way down to your back. And hug your knees into your chest for a moment. Rocking side to side. And we'll release the knees, bringing the feet flat on the ground. From here, we'll get ready to move into our bridge pose. So to help you get into your bridge pose, you can use a pillow underneath the hips for a supported bridge pose. But if it feels okay, we'll walk those heels back until they graze the fingertips. Let the lower back be flat on the ground. And then begin to lift your hips making that ramp from the knees down towards the shoulders, squeezing the knees together. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower back down to your back, one vertebra at a time. And let's hug those knees back into our chest. Good, from here, take the hands, bring them on the outside of the feet, keeping the knees bent, start to let the bottoms of the feet face the ceiling, pulling the feet down so that the knees are kind of coming towards the armpits. Your arms may be inside of the knees or outside. I'm a little more comfortable with my elbows inside. Come into happy baby. And you can rock side to side a little bit here. Let's do a few more breaths. Uh, inhale. Exhale, come back to stillness. Hug the knees back in towards the chest. Release the left leg and let it rest on the ground. Keep the right knee hugged in. And then take the left hand and pull the right knee over to the left. You can put a pillow underneath your knee if your knee doesn't quite reach the ground. Right arm extends to the side. You can look over to the right hand or up to the ceiling. Couple more breaths on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the knees back in towards the chest. And this time we will keep the left knee hugged in. So we extend the right leg to straight. Right hand pulls the left knee over to the right using a pillow underneath the knee if needed. Left arm extends to the side. Gazes up towards the ceiling or over to the left.
couple more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, hug the knees back into the chest one last time, rocking side to side. Let's squeeze everything in, curling ourselves into a ball. Inhale. Exhale, release. Let those feet reach the bottoms of the mat. Let the arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward. Coming to corpse pose or shavasana. And I'll leave you here with some music in a black screen so that if you want to relax for the next few minutes, you can do so. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace and love.